We are here in Palm Harbor, Florida, here on an unattended death. Interesting story. This is the first time I've cleaned blood off of a ceiling that wasn't because of spatter. It was a bird. Hey guys, Steve Wolf, General Manager of Spalding Decon Tampa. We are here in Palm Harbor, Florida, here on an unattended death. Interesting story, the, uh, there was a female here that was disabled and she had a boyfriend that uh, ended up becoming deceased and was unattended to, um, and then the sister of the female that was living here came and discovered the body. Um, while they, when she came and discovered the body, um, she said that the body had already started to decompose. She called the, the police, had the body removed and everything, but she also had to call animal control because there was a bird that was living inside the house as well. So when we go inside, you will see wing marks on the ceiling and throughout the house from where the bird was feeding off of the de decomposed body and was using that to survive because the other homeowner that was disabled was unable to get around the house and feed the bird. Um, you know, there's wing, wing marks in the kitchen ceiling, all over the house. There's also bird feed and bird uh, feces all over. Very interesting story. This is a uh, two bedroom um, duplex that we're going into that is also hoarded. So it is an unattended death that it has now been two weeks before uh, before we were able to enter this. I think the body, as it was already decomposed, had about a week and a half already before it was discovered, and then now two weeks before we we're actually able to to action cleaning this. And like I said, the bird is there. There is some incontinence in the master bedroom from the disabled um, victim that was still here and alive. She she is in the hospital, so good news, she is alive, and they are taking care of her but you'll see us clean up. A lot of tile work, carpet work. We got a big project ahead of us. Follow along. So I'm just trying to make it a pathway here so that we don't cross contaminate. Yes, sir. Because there's a lot of like footprints and stuff um, that I'm trying to not step in. Definitely looks like the bird, the bird's wings were soaked in blood because the way the streaks are going on the floor it looks like the bird was walking and leaving the blood streaks on the floor. Super weird. And then the bird even hit the ceiling in the kitchen and the wings made an impression there. Super weird. A bio and a hoard together. It makes this job 10 times harder because you're dealing with all these contents as well as a lot of blood but you always focus on the blood first and the rest of it can be taken care of later so this is going to take several days yeah i mean yeah yeah <laughs> that whole i mean like he it, it's like because he was alcohol all alcoholic oh. so he's bleeding out of his you can oh. see it in the bathroom everywhere so that's what he died from. So like he's walking around all of that green carpet. I mean, all the way oh, behind the man. TV, like everywhere. That all indicated all the way. I didn't Buffalo. realize he was an alcoholic. Yeah, that's what. That sucked. This shower is absolutely disgusting. I'll start looking at the expansion. Oh, this is going to be several, several times. Yeah, so you got blood all over the uh, shower curtain all over the walls and then the inside of this toilet looks like a horror movie i'll show you 
Oh, good God. It smells like a dead body. Mm. Say probably. But you know, there's one right there. Hey, guys. So, as you can see here, we have what appears to be back or stomach skin from this decomp. So, you get to enjoy this moment with me as we peel it from the, from the floor. It's almost like peeling a sunburn, I guess, would be the closest I can say. It comes right up like, yeah, you can hear it too. It's coming right off that carpet. It feels like paper. It's been dry, not too wet anymore. Yeah, there it is. There's some hair on it. This part's still wet over here. Look. There it is, stuck to my finger. So any type of uh, biohazardous material, bodily fluid, any type of waste that comes from the human body has to be disposed of properly, legally and ethically too. You don't want to just throw this in a trash can for somebody to find, you know, it's kind of kind of gross. So we, we always, always follow our proper procedures of removing and transporting and everything when it comes to biohazard like that. All right, so we're gonna try to attempt to make it a little bit easier since it is hardened and stuck to the floor. I'm gonna get it wet and we're gonna, we're gonna get it off that way. So it might just kind of scoop off now a little easier once it gets wet. Yeah, look at that. So you can see the difference. I need a scraper. It's kind of souping now, as you can see. It's getting wet and it's clumping together. Yeah, so the part A is causing it to bubble. Oh, yeah. Just get a little taco scoop. Mm -hmm. Some hairs in there. <laughs> that was awesome. You want me to just pop you up with another one? Or? With a bio bag? That flag's got to go too. Oh, no. Mm. Uh, yeah, I got it. I got it. You, you got to touch your camera. Oh. And our flag was not still there. <laughs> so we have got a ton of food here. Um, mo I mean, this is open, but most of it is good and not open. So what we typically do on stuff like this is donate it to um, the Homeless Mission Center, and uh, they take all this food obviously we, we can't do the stuff that's been halfway open but like there's plenty of stuff here that hasn't been open uh that's perfect for um even animals there's milk bones um which means i'm probably going to find dog food somewhere but i haven't even gotten into the kitchen yet this is just kind of like a hall closet and it's got a lot of food in it so um our priority today is the bio, and then once that's taken care of, we can focus on the food. You want to start chipping? Let's do it. We got some, uh, some fucking high for it. Get chipping. Get her done! Here we go. Don't have too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want, want the, the one that goes You want the butthole out. blast. Right, go for it. This chair is my nemesis. It's a pain in the It's a miracle if I don't lose a limb.
They don't even make padding like this anymore. I can tell because of the shape, the design of it. It's super, super old. So it's disintegrating with the blood that went through it onto the subfloor. But we can, we can definitely clean it up. I need like a, a see. see, it went through, but the padding was made better a long time ago because it was absorbent. The padding today, if liquid hits it, it just literally disintegrates. So this is, this is good stuff, see? It saved us. The blood went through the carpet, through the pad, onto the subfloor, but the padding did a really good job of absorbing it. So this is easy for us to get out of the slab. We won't even have to seal this. We'll extract it and disinfect it, and it's good to go. Yeah, yeah we have to do it for the time. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> it's like disintegrating. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! This bug is a <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Well, we've got some. Ah! Uh, it's the blade. Okay, maybe we should head that way. Yeah. Because we're we're at a good standstill. Oh, you want to indicate that? That's yeah. I think it's rough. If you don't feed those, they'll feed on you. So look, here's two spots on the sheet. We sprayed indicator on both of these. This one indicated. This one didn't. So this was blood. This is feces. Okay. But when they started to dry, they both browned the same. Okay, so you have to indicate. But look, no, no bubbles, bubbles. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this whole sheet, but that's a good thing for you guys to learn and know that the indication shows you the different types of biomatter. So, you just wanna, all bio that or you want to garbage it? The socks. So, normally if it's just a spot of blood, I'll just cut the spot. But this is everywhere, so it's easier for me to just cut off the pillow. Cut off the whole pillow top and put it in the red bag. When I was doing another job. But those EMT shears are amazing. My favorite tool by far. Works much better than this. So one of the hazards of working and cutting carpet is sometimes your carpet blade snaps in half. Oh. You got How horrible to be laying in bed, not able to get out for seven days while your husband is dead in the next room and no one can help you and no one can find you for seven days. And the bird starts eating on her husband. So, I mean, I can't imagine what's going through her head for seven damn days with no food or water. That's horrible, absolutely horrible. Yeah, so we're, I'm just continuing to pull up the carpet and the carpet pad as there was bio in this room as well. So as we continue to gather, or we can continue to work through the house to decontaminate, go. You know, this whole carpet is going to be highly saturated. Or it was highly saturated with blood. And you see it's on the bed, it's on the carpet. So, moving along.
you haven't really set up. It's always easier cutting carpet on the back side. Way easier. Look at that. It's like butter. It's just like butter. <laughs> always. Find any good cleaning supplies? Yeah, we'll use all these for cleaning. Shit for Airbnb. So Laura, what do we got back here in the garage? A ton of sh but I got bug bombs, which is awesome. Because we need them for our van. My plan here for the, bre the bed frame is because it is a monstrosity of a bed frame, very beautiful. I may add, but it's a monstrosity. I have to take it apart in pieces so that I, that my frail weakness can um, take it out. Uh, Laura and Nathan said they could bench press it and take it out by themselves, but they tasked me with it, so now I have to break it down into smaller pieces. Oh! Alright, watch your step. I'm gonna set it down. You're gonna three count, and you're like one, two, and then you just lift up and then say three. Ready? One, two, three. No, no, no. <laughs> you say ready and don't wait for the response. I'm like, ready, we're going. No, I'm not. Okay, well, we're going anyway. Pivot! Pivot! Yeah. Dude, oh, it's pretty No problem. Pivot! Pivot! <laughs> Alright, set it down. You pull it and the thing just goes. <laughs> you said slide it my way, so Yeah. <laughs> it's because the ceiling clearance, you don't got a lot. I'm telling Morgan, the, what? the bio dream team's on the job. Yep. The dream team, baby. if you can break them down so you're not heavy hauling heavy out break these rails and the pieces much more of a so it shouldn't be much more the both bathrooms and then we have the kitchen with the ceiling the walls little spots like that and then if we're doing the carpet so let's the carpet. do the let's do the bolt things then pop this so the bolt is this way yeah, yeah pop yeah. it out that way Sweet. Baby sister kind of sledge. Yeah, yeah. Opa! The guy has like three TVs stacked on top of each other, went from a big box one to a little box one, then they had a flat screen on top like of the it. evolution of the TV. <laughs> <laughs> poo blood. Look at it all. It's poo and it's blood. Therefore, poo blood. This is the first time I've cleaned blood off of a ceiling that wasn't because of spatter. It was a bird that was covered in blood because it ate its owner and its wings were covered in blood and these are just wing strikes everywhere. This is insane. Here that is completely, oh, no, okay. What I'm gonna do, See if I can get a, a, a garbage bag or something. Take all of her clothes out of here so that when we move this and we can put all the clothes in there, they can decide what, what they want to do with this separately other than the clothes. I know that they want to keep the clothes. The female that was living in this house is going to be now moving in with her sister who's going to take care of her. <laughs> Clay, so you wanted to know the time but didn't want anybody to know that you knew the time? We have a clock hidden inside of the... Yeah. Oh. There you go. 
Roll it up in the side. Roll it up. The, the blade. Oh. Oh, really? I have to work, I have to go pick up a bunch of Oh, I'm under the carpet. <laughs> it's stuck on the carpet? Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. That's marine intelligence right there. One, two, three. This is, I, I've determined that this is not blood. I think it's dirt from the bird. So the bird was never caged up. The bird was allowed to roam free. That's why you see bird everywhere. So I think they train the bird to certain areas, but it's a bird. It's gonna um, it's blood and excrement or feces or poop, whatever you want to call it, mixed together right here, which is pretty gross. So you can tell because it's not just red, it's brown. You can see the poop and the blood. It's both. So you can see the, obviously the old blood, but then that is poop and it's mixed together. So somebody was bleeding out of their butt. I'm going home. TV for my home. What is it? I'm going home. I'm going home. Time to bring the pain. Oh yeah, buddy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you the next natural thing you down. There's that's patchwork right there. All right. So, bio right there, bio right there. What I'm gonna do is, I already cut my seam here. Bio, 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 bio. Come right here. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. If your thing doesn't, if your carpet doesn't split right, this, then you start bending it against itself. Cutting from the underneath, it's a lot easier. This is bio bagged. I'm able to clean the surface off, but it's ultimately going to need to be repainted. We got to disinfect it and at least remove the top part of it and then we'll repaint it. It's hot, so I bring this special tool with me. It, keep, it cools me down. It's made in France. We got the toilet pretty much cleaned on the inside. I'm doing, I'm touching up the outside. You guys are following along. You know that Nathan started this, but he's a wimp and can't do the bathrooms. So I'm in here cleaning toilets and making sure that everything is back to normal and looks nice and nice and good for the tenant okay but I don't know if you guys got a shot of this toilet beforehand mm. starting to look nice and clean it's still got some work to do but 90% of the toilet is clean got a little acid mold cleaner in there that did do some work okay See, that's what the blue is, the acid bowl cleaner. Okay, let it get some work in. So the biggest thing, and I've said this before on, on these episodes, gotta let the chemical do the work for you. Set the chemical down, let it start to eat away at what it is, come back to it, then use that elbow grease to get the rest of it. Oh, it's nice and light. Huh? Two man job or a one wolf job. Wanna help her finish cleaning up? I can get I get this room. And friends, we double glove. Because you get breaches in your glove and you're touching that stuff right there. And you get a little cut, and then now I got like
every communicable disease under the sun and some type of gnarly bacterial infection. So you don't want that. So we double glow. Hey guys, end of day one here at the unattended death slash horde job. Dream team was on it. Laura, Nathan, myself getting this done. We got all the bio cleared out for today. Um, we're wrapping, wrapping it up, but we have multiple days of a hoarding clean out still left to do. So make sure you tune in for day two. Thanks for watching today's episode of Crime Scene Cleaning. Don't forget to subscribe to our new channel, Talking Decon, where we interview some really interesting people in the industry, but we also have some great talks about prominent serial killers and really prolific crimes. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to Talking Decon. For more information, visit any of our locations.